Good evening, family. Good evening, family. We had a rough day today, but we made it through the day, and we was not going to let the day go by without getting into some word. You understand? Because we got to meditate on that word day and night. We got family members who need us day and night. So, all right, family. Today, we're calling out <clears throat> all of my fallen angels. All of my fallen kings, my fallen queens, my shortcoming fathers, my mothers who ain't do a good job, all my aunties, all my uncles, everyone out there who knows in your heart in one area of your life you fell down or fell short of the glory of God and the role you're supposed to play. I'm telling you right now, family, my family, we fall down, but we get up. We're going in the word today. I said, we fall down, but we get up. Even my favorite king, King David, fell down at one time. Let's get into the word. Come on, y'all. Proverbs 24, 16. Proverbs 24 and 16. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Family, everyone falls down at some point in our lives. The reason is because the Bible says in Romans 3 and 23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That is all. For all have sinned. Not just me, not just you, not just mama, not just auntie, even a deacon. All have sinned and shall fall, fall, fallen short of the glory of God. So we all have sinned. We all have fallen short. That's all of us. Every one of us. So let's break it down. What have, what have we done? What is sin? Let's break it down. Sin is the willful transgression or the neglect of God's holy law, which is his word. The willful transgression or neglect that's doing something or not doing something willful transgression or neglect of God's holy law which is his word sin is selfishness in attitude or in action it's when you love yourself more than you love God or others the Bible says love thy neighbor as thyself sin is saying my will instead of your will father be done Sin is brought to life in greed, deceit, covetousness, lust, hatred, and idolatry. Sin is your most deadliest, most poisonous, and most untrustworthy enemy. Sin waits like a hidden sniper, waiting to ambush and destroy you. Sin will wreck your life. It'll break up your home. It'll tear up your marriage. Sin will knock you down and make you fall. Sin was instituted and created by God's chief adversary, Satan, the devil, who fell from heaven with his angels into the pits of hell. Now, when some people fall, they blame it on clumsiness or bad luck. Uh, but I'm here to tell you the only bad luck is to miss heaven and miss all of his wonderful blessings. The only way to defeat evil is by doing good. The only way to defeat hate is with love. Now, to fall, what does it say? We all fall. To fall means to stumble, to stray, to fail. To extend downward or backward direction. To descend freely by the force of gravity. There are several factors which contribute to falling down. When you, when you fall down, you can lose your balance. That will cause you to fall down. Uh, when you walk by sight and not by faith, you'll fall down. Because sin will cause you to lose your balance. Sin will cause you to lose focus. Sin will cause you to trip up. Sin will blind you. That's why you got to walk by faith, not by sight. 
We all fall down sometimes, but when I fall down, <laughs> I pop right back up like Tigger. I don't stay down long, because I know where my help comes from. You see, when I fall down, all I have to do is call on the name of Jesus and say my favorite thing. Oh, I feel Lord have mercy on me. And you know, even if Jesus has to reach way down, when I made a mistake and fell down, Jesus reached way down to pick me up. You see, when a, ba when a baby first learns how to walk, they stumble. When the baby first learns how to crawl, then they stand. Then when they get the courage to take their first step or two, they start walking. Now, he'll fall down. But the baby, what the baby do? He get right back up and try again. Now, see, learning to walk is a process that you have to go through. And that's just how it is when you become saved. When you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you don't just jump up and start running. <laughs> You're going to fall down. It is a process. When you're learning to walk with Jesus, sometimes you will fall. And the Bible says in Psalms 37, 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. David also said in Psalms 119, 133, Lord, order my steps in your word. Now, if you want to walk right, ask the Lord to order your steps. If you want to talk right, Ask the Lord to bridle your tongue. If you want to live right, you need to ask the Lord to help you turn from your wicked ways. This is not something that's so easy to do. You do need help to turn from the things that are killing you or driving you against God's will. So you ask the Lord to help you. Lord, help me turn from my... Everybody who's got something on them right now that you feel like is too heavy to get up off you, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, help me turn from my wicked ways. In Jesus' name, you'll see the difference. If you want to love right, you need to ask Lord to wash your heart. See, the reason you're having problems loving other people is you got stuff that's got blemishes on your heart. You got hatred. You got unforgiveness. Your heart can't move forward in love when it's burning down with dirt. You got to ask the Lord to clean your heart. A lot of times when things are not going well in your life, it's because God is trying to tell you something. He's trying to let you know. You're going in the wrong direction. When a person falls down and gets back up, they often are tried but never denied. And they are willing to be tried again. What that mean? If you fail at something, yeah, you got tried, you failed. But you wasn't denied. And, and the just man and the righteous man is going to get up and try again. This has been good. It's been quick, but it's been good. But I want you to understand your faith in God, your forgiveness of those who does you wrong. You want to follow the attributes of Jesus in order to walk in like in behind Jesus, behind his leadership. You have to do what he does. You have to get, forgive those who've done you wrong. You have to let God fight your battles. Now, in verse 16, it reminds us that a righteous man will always recover. But a wicked man will face permanent destruction. Now, what makes him a just man after falling seven times? The reason he's a just man is because when he falls down, he didn't stay down. He said, Father, forgive me for my sins. When you make a mistake, and you fall into an area out of the will of God, all you have to do is say, Father, forgive me of my sins. Lord, help me get back up again. Because sometimes you can't do it by yourself. My favorite King David fell down when he committed adultery. But David got back up. Yes, King David committed adultery. But he got back up when he said, Lord, create in me a clean heart. There it is. Anybody out there, you got a problem with forgiving someone, got a problem with lust, you got problems of the heart, you can't love properly, repeat after me, Lord, create in me a clean heart so I can do your will. That's all you have to do. 
he'll do the rest. Jonah fell down when he disobeyed God, but he got back up and said, Lord, I will go where you want me to go. And I'm like Jonah. I done crashed into the wall so many times. Lord, I will go where you want me to go. You see, I fell down. And when I got up, I told the Lord, Lord, use me in thy service. I am sorry, Lord. How can I serve you? That's why I saw my bio. That's what I told God when he saved my life for the 13th time. And Father, please forgive me of my sins. So, family, don't let life's problems, I don't care how intense it may seem at the moment, get you down when you fall. For all have fallen. Jesus will pick you up. Just believe in him. The Bible says, taste and see and watch the Lord pour out a blessings you will not have room enough to see. Have you ever received a blessing like that? A blessing so big you had to call someone else. Come get some of this. God done blessed me with too much. That's the life we're working for, family. We clean our hearts. We clean our minds. We rebuild our foundation based on God's principles. We will live the blessed life. We will live purpose feel life and as far as me and my family's house we will serve the Lord thank you everyone your favorite teacher King Noah and I'm out